Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Taking a Bath in the Bathroom. It's the only place you can place your gadgets in peace. And today we want to review the Typhoon Q500 4K Edition. Let's go ahead and run the footage.
guys, welcome back to my channel, Taking a Bath Them. And there's no greater sound than that. Alright guys, let's talk about exactly what we've seen in the video. I'm going to share with you my likes and my dislikes. So, right off the bat, I must tell you that I'm coming from the DJI platform. I had a Phantom 3, it was the standard edition. And the difference between the Phantom and the Typhoon Q500 is that the Phantom to me is more sporty. So if I was to make a comparison, I would compare this Lincoln Navigator high class vehicle and I would compare the um, DJI Phantom to like a Ferrari or something like that. Real sporty or whatever. Luxury, sporty. Two different things. Now we got that out the way. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the controller. So the controller right here, right quick, is that you have three functions on the controller. Smart mode, angle mode, and home. Of course, home is return to home. Whenever the bird is away from you, you put it down and the bird will return to home. The controller itself have um, GPS in it, so satellites is actually locked to the controller. The satellites is also, GPS is also in the quad. Bird flies back to the drone to communicate with each other that way. Smart mode. Now you're having a smart mode and you have enough satellites. Being smart mode is the little LED in the back. It's going to blank purple with a flash of white. And then you know that not only you have enough um, satellites locked, but you have enough where you can use the smart mode features. And some of the smart mode features are follow me and um, watch me. So you put in the watch me, the drone to turn around and the camera will face you. You put in the follow me, the drone will follow you. Here's very important. Do not take off in smart mode. Because you're in smart mode and smart mode is designed to watch and follow, the drone automatic put up a barrier. It, it created this invisible fence. So it want to be a certain distance away from the operator to make sure that the drone does not come in contact with the operator so if you go ahead and start it off in smart mode the drone will fly all crazy trying to get away if you start up too too close to it angle mode is the mode that i recommend you have more control over the drone but you still have your gps and you still have your altitude hold go up right hand side you have the little button right here it's for your camera left hand side side right here you roll video left hand side for your camera i meant to say you take a picture red button you press and hold down for about three seconds it activates the motors um and when you're on the ground you press it for three seconds and it kill the motors you have your gimbal up and down and you have turtle mode and rabbit mode whenever you're in whenever you are in turtle mode the quad flies slower whenever you're in rabbit mode the quad flies faster and again Ferrari compared to Lincoln Navigator, Lexus, high end. When it's in turtle mode, man, you really can, I don't know how to put it. You can get these nice, crisp, sharp, elegant, smooth turns. And that's one of the reasons why I upgraded from the DJI to the um, Typhoon was because of the 4K camera. And it does not, the camera itself, well, it speaks for itself, it does not disappoint. So you, you have a Android building here. A five inch tablet building here and you can get your telemetry. Here's the difference between my Phantom and this right here, this Android. Is that on my Phantom I had to use another device whether it was a tablet, download the app or was it was a phone, download the app and have that handshake paired up with the um quad. So the problem with that is that it made it slower for me to get in the air. But the benefit of that is that I had Google Maps, so I was able to see exactly track on the map where my um, drone went. So, those are some of the things you give up whenever you get this. The benefits, though, is again the tablet, but the turtle mode, you can orbit around something and get that nice, crisp, smooth turning shot, cinematic shot that you're looking for. So, to me, it wasn't, it wasn't much of a trade-off. Another thing that I absolutely love, you guys, the Think that I'm crazy is I love the gimbal guard. You can just simply take this gimbal guard off and put it right back on with no problem, man. With my Phantom, man, it was like rocket science getting that thing back on. Because they have longer blades, you want to be very cautious of how far you off on the ground because you can't get some wind effect if you're too low to the ground. Overall, five stars out of five. I'm absolutely in love with this bird. I'm sorry I had to get rid of my DJI Phantom. But this is a well welcome addition to my collection of quiet copters. And as always, thank you for coming to my bathroom and helping review my gadget. Until next time, again, it's your boy taking the bathroom. Peace. Don't forget to subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I'm out.